Let's say you want to download a list of your customers so that you can upload it to Facebook and you can retarget all of your customers, or maybe you want to make a lookalike of those people. Okay. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to get into Shopify, download those orders, and then how to upload them to Facebook. So let's go ahead and get into it. First thing you need to do, obviously, is you need to log into your Shopify store. So once you're already logged in here, you're going to go to the menu over here on the right and navigate to customer section. Okay. Once you are in here, there's a drop down menu depending on who, what kind of customer you want to get from here. You can create segments if you want, but uh, Shopify gives you a, a list of you know pre-segmented people. So let's say, let's say I want a, um, a list of anybody that purchased one or more orders. Okay, so I would go here. And now you wanna export these people. Okay, so we have a ton of customers in here that have purchased one or more. Because keep in mind, if somebody hits the Shopify store and they abandon the cart, they are also part of this list here. Um, if they ordered, but then refund it, let's say, well, they'll also be part of here. So this is only people that have actually purchased one or more orders. Now, what you want to do in this case, say, you know, this is a lot of data. And usually the more data you would feed Facebook, the better, right? But let's just say that you only want to make a list of anybody that ordered in the last maybe seven days, 10 days, depending on how much data your store has. Because again, the more data you give Facebook, the better you can make uh, lookalikes with, right? Or the better your retargeting will be because you have a bigger base of people in your audience. So um, you would click in here. We want to add a filter that says, um, and so people that purchase one or more orders and they, let's see. And the last order date was, let's just say in the last 90 days. Now I'm gonna apply that. And now I have 19,000 people. So if they ordered in the last 90 days, that data is more recent, that customer's hotter for retargeting, you know, that sort of thing. So let's just say this is the, this is the uh, list that I want to, um, download so you can click on export and I just leave everything how it is here on the settings and export my customers so now an email is going to be sent to my email so this email took a little while to get here but um, once you finally get the email from Shopify you go ahead and click here where it says zip and you download that to your desktop. Okay, so then we can head over to our business manager. Okay, so this is the final step now. If you wanna upload this custom audience, you go into your business manager, you head to the audiences section, and now we're gonna look for our ad account. Go ahead and look for your ad account if you have more than one. Okay. let this load okay so now you can go ahead and just click here where it says create custom audience I already have this audience in here so you can also just add to it but I'm gonna show you how to create one from the start so you could uh, hit create audience and what type of audience do we have here is it coming from our sources or from Facebook pixel those are two different ways you can create these custom audience but in this case we want to say that we're gonna upload a customer list we'll go to next okay so now um, we're going to upload the list and we have to tell Facebook what kind of identifier or what kind of information we're passing on to them because you could do everything like it shows here, but there's also extra things that, um, Shopify gives us in the download. So I'll show you what I mean here by how to, you know, map the information that we upload to Facebook here. Okay. All right. So, um, Next thing we want to do is we'll click next. Uh, actually, don't remember if the value is included, but I think it is. So I'm going to say yes. Okay. Upload file. 
by the way, uh, like you can see here, it says download file template. So you could do a file template. You grab your file and you you know you put it into this template. I don't go through that. I just go actually go upload file, and now um, our file should be in here somewhere. Okay, so now we need to choose your customer value column. So we need to tell Facebook. You know, how do we identify how much this customer is worth? Well, we could just say that the total order is what they're worth. And the name of the audience here, we're going to do, um, you know, customer orders, you know, something like this. I'm going to designate just like something like that so I know how to find it and delete it later because, as I said, I already have this information in there. So I don't want a new custom audience of that. All right, so now we have our customer value, we have our email, we have our phone number, and if we click in here where it says action needed, um, you're either going to say do not upload or you're going to say what kind of, you know, what's the identifier for this information here. I believe this is the order number. We don't need any of that to match on Facebook. We only need Facebook to match the name, email, phone number, and of course how much the you know, the value of the customer is so they can go out and find us either that same customer for retargeting or to build a good look alike list from that. Right. So uh, let's see here. What do we want to give them? What else? Uh, let me go back to see what we already have, which is the email. We have customer value. We have uh, I don't believe we have a phone number. So let me see. Let's look at where the phone number is. Here we go. And I designate that as phone number. Okay, good. And what else do we have? Let me go back. Okay, so we have, okay, so we need name. Okay, this does not look like their name, so let's look for one that looks like it's their billing name. Here we go. All right, so this is actually why it's a good idea to try to format the data because as you can see here, the name comes through as first and last name together and Facebook likes to have the name separated but it still actually works. So I'm gonna go ahead for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna move on. So we have customer value, we have email, we have first name and phone number. Okay, so import and create. And that's it, the upload is now in progress. Once it uploads here, I'm gonna show you how to create a, a lookalike audience from it, which is you just create a, a, a click right here and you choose how big do you want your lookalike. 1% is the closest match to our original list which means that's going to be the best performing one usually, but you can also test two, three, four, five percent. Um, bigger than five percent, I've never really had a good, um, I never had really good results from that, so I, I actually wouldn't recommend right now. Now again, the more data you have, the easier it is to go out two, three, four, five, even ten percent. Um, like as you saw at the beginning, if I were to upload all of my customer data, all of my customer orders, I have more than, I think it was a hundred, was it 10,000 or 100,000, whatever it said at the beginning there. We had a lot, a lot of data. So you would upload that and you would probably have a really good match rate even up to you know past the 5%, like I'm saying here. All right, so hopefully that was very helpful to you guys. If you like this video or if you have a question about anything I shared in here, um, just let me know in the comments. Um, if there's anything else that I can, uh, any other videos I could do for you, let me know in the comments so I can get those out to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.